Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a love spread for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're cross-watching, these messages may resonate with you as well. Um, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you resonate, leave me a comment, like, share, all that good stuff, and let's go ahead and jump in. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. So your person, the person that you're dealing with, the person that you're thinking about, um, what is on their mind for Cancer? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is their person thinking about? What are they thinking about? Okay, so they could be trying to... Um, they want to give your guys' connection a chance. They could be trying to heal some type of um, family situation. I don't know if this is involving their parents, if this is involving your guys' connection. Um, I'm hearing that you may be on a break from this person even, um, and they're trying to, they want to give this a chance. They want to heal your guys' connection. Some of you may have children with this person. Also, I'm getting um, the... For some, this person that you're dealing with, they could have some childhood trauma too that they, they're trying to work through or heal from as well. Okay, so how do they feel towards you? Yeah, this is somebody that, that you dealt with in the past. You and this person, for those of you I'm reading for, are not in communication with this person. Okay, so they feel though that... You guys have a really strong past life connection, right? Um, I feel like a comfortability, like a, a feeling of comfort between you and this person. How do they view you? They view you. Some of you could be in a relationship with somebody else. You could be engaged. You could be um, getting into some other type of commitment. This is how they view you. Or... They view you as um, in that way, like you you are marriage material. They view you as like you're the one that they want to um, be in a commitment with, okay? So it'll be different for everyone. What's in your blockage? Separation. I told you, you and this person, you guys are not in... I don't want to say you're not in communication because I haven't laid all your cards out yet, but you and this person are definitely in separation. You're not together. You're not together. What action do they want to take towards cancer? What action do they want to take towards cancer? What action? I just had a bunch of cards fall out. What action do they want to take towards cancer? Mm, they want to reconcile with you. They want to move towards you. They want to reconcile with you. Okay. What's the outcome between you and this person? What's the outcome? Ooh, manifestation. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Um, playfulness is in your overall energy. There could be an age difference between the two of you. Overall, overall, somebody's definitely trying to uh, manifest this connection back together, though. Somebody's thinking a lot about this flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Cancer, 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 sun, moon, rising, Venus. Give me one more please for cancer. Yeah, soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. Stay optimistic. Yes, this is a soulmate. Okay. All right. So let's start clarifying and see what the hell is going on. Cancer. Okay, so um, on their mind, they want to heal this situation. They want to give 
give this connection a chance. Yeah, they're trying to plan this out. So they're thinking of ways they can plan out um, a way to to see you, to communicate with you. Um, yeah. So they, um, they, again, they could be at a distance from you, right? So you guys, they could need to travel to come towards you, um, but they're trying to plan that out in, in their mind. An admirer from afar, a fork in the road option, interested. Yeah, so you may not even know that this person is trying to um, come back into your life yet because they're trying to plan, plan things out. They're trying to be st uh, strategic here in how they're going to be moving towards you. So how they view you, or I'm sorry, how they feel towards you. They feel a very strong past life connection. Um, but they also feel like... The situation need time, needs time to thaw out. So, again, you and this person are separated. They feel like um, you need a time to heal from the situation. Um, they feel like you are um, husband or wife material, right? They feel like you are somebody they could settle down with, the end-all be-all, right? Okay, so let's see how they view you. How do they view you? They could view you as getting into commitment with someone else or being in a commitment with someone else. Um, new beginnings, anniversary, milestone, meeting new people. Happy. They view you as being really happy, um, meeting new people, uh, celebrating, um, making a lot of friends, things like that. They view you as just, I, I just heard, uh, not faced by this connection anymore. Um, maybe. So the blockage is you guys are in separation. Why is this here? Separation. So this person, um, could be going out a lot or they could have been while you guys are in separation, kind of going through, struggling with addictions, things like that. Um, and it doesn't have to just be addictions. It could be they're struggling with um, finding healthy ways to heal from this connection. So they want to reconcile with you. The action they want to take towards you, they... I feel like this person worries or they have a fear that you won't have free time for them um, or that you won't be willing to make time for them for some of you. What's in the outcome? But somebody's manifesting a comeback around here. Yeah, so they could be bringing you a gift or a surprise visit, something like that. Okay, so... Um, let's see here. You could be dealing with an Aries or have Aries in your chart, you or they. Just saw the emperor. All right. So on their mind, they're trying to plan out some type of, um, way to come towards you or communicate with you, right? They want to make plans with you. They could text you or call you um, to try to plan like a date or something, something like that. So um, on their mind, tell me more for cancer. Um, so four of pentacles. So they're holding on to this idea. The moon, right? So they're keeping this to themselves. The fact that they want to bring balance back into the situation after a timeout period. They're keeping this to themselves. So you don't know this yet, but this is on their mind. How they feel towards you. Okay, so what I'm getting is they feel like, well, first of all, they think about this all the time. Um, they feel like they can't heal from the situation or they can't, um, what I'm getting is like they can't move past this situation you or them, um, because, let me show you, because you're, they're two of cups, 
you're, they feel like you're their soulmates. Very strong. They have a lot of love towards you. They feel like they have unfinished business with you is what I'm getting. Okay, so how they view you. Yeah, they could view, well, you have two threes here. Hmm. They could view you as working with other people. They could view you as maybe traveling. They could view you as waiting on a message from them, I'm getting. How do they view you? Queen of Swords. Somebody that's not playing around. Somebody that's been through a lot. You, there could be an age difference between the two of you. I don't know if I said that already, but there definitely could be. They view you as like if they come to communicate towards you, there's going to be conflict, right? <laughs> they view you as the queen of wands and the page of swords. So like they watch you. They, they're they very attracted to you. They view you as like very... Um, creative, uh, dominant, I just heard. They view you as very um, spiritual, too. They could have to travel to come and see you, right? You guys, there could be water between the two of you. Okay, so, and again, for some of you, they view you as having someone else, too, Um Let's not forget that. They view you, some of you, as uh, working with somebody else, working together with somebody else, or working on another partnership with somebody else. So the blockage could be an Aries again. I have. Okay, so the blockage, King of Swords. Why is the King of Swords here in the blockage? Ten of Cups. Someone could be in another commitment. Um. Why is this here? Okay. So, again, with travel. Travel could be a, uh, in your guys' blockage or communication. You guys could have problems communicating, something like that. Um, somebody has not fully healed. That's in the blockage. Somebody has not healed, but they're still hopeful for this connection. Um and they're trying to figure it out. It's like somebody's trying to make a decision whether they travel or communicate or not for some of you. I'm just sensing like a lot of distance between the two of you. For who I'm reading for, I feel like um, you guys could definitely live at a distance like uh, quite far actually for some of you. You have the world here too. Hmm. Okay, so um, what action uh, what action they want to take towards you? Let's see. They want to take control over the situation. Again, Aries, with the Emperor, the hanged man, Pisces. Yeah, so what action they want to take? They're trying to plan this out, I feel like. Did I say uh, strategic planning earlier? Because I feel like I did. <laughs> and that's the energy I was picking up on. That's what they're trying to do now. They want to take control over the situation and like plan it out. Because they feel like they, okay, so they've been able to see the situation from a different perspective maybe, but they also feel like stuck to the situation because they feel a very strong connection with you. Okay, so in the outcome, in the outcome, the cancer. Okay, so two of swords, a decision will need to be made here. A lot of twos, two of swords, two of wands. So at a crossroads, right? Somebody's gonna somebody's gonna have a decision to make here. Leaving someone out in the cold, cancer. 
You're going to have to leave someone out in the cold. You're going to have to make a decision. This could be a decision between two people. And I feel like you're going to be really tempted. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. You could be very tempted. Um, what is the devil here? The Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Cups. You could be really tempted to walk away from... Okay, now you have Aries energy again. Walk towards... What is this here? Okay, you could be really tempted to um, walk towards the situation from the past. Because I feel like for you, that maybe this person coming back around at one point was a wish fulfillment for you. Um, but what I'm getting is it may, it may have been a wish fulfillment. This person could have rejected you in the past or gave more to another situation versus you. So you may be a little bit guarded when this person comes back around. I feel like maybe you intuitively know this person is coming back around because you could be waiting right? Waiting for this person to reach out or just thinking about like where you want to invest your time. But there is a decision coming. You will need to make a decision here who you want to commit to. You will get all the clarity that you need. Um, so you could, wow, yeah, there's a decision between fire and earth. Yeah, you will be putting an ending towards something and going towards a brand new beginning. Could be um, also Libra here, Scorpio I have. Towards a new beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, with a Leo, possibly. Go towards a new beginning with a Leo. A new commitment here. I'm getting. Could be a Virgo as well. We put in work. Yeah, moving towards this. New beginning. Uh, strong Leo. If you're dealing with a Leo. But you will have a decision to make between two. Two individuals here. And who you want to commit to. But you will have all the clarity that you need to make that decision. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's see. What other messages do you have for a cancer? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. For these two people to choose from. <laughs> Involving cancer situation. What other messages do you have? This person coming back though is definitely a soulmate connection. Past life connection even. Can you tell me? Some of you are definitely going to be moving towards a fire sign. Definitely be moving towards a fire sign. Um, again, there could be an age difference between the two of you. Okay, so for cancer, what messages do you have for cancer? Let's see, what, what advice do you have for cancer? What advice? Soulmate. I, I told you, did I not tell you? Yes, soulmates. This is somebody from the past. This is an ex coming back around. Whew.
Mm -hmm. Past life, short term. Somebody that, so this could have been an ex where it was a very short term type of relationship. Like it was very quick to start, quick to end type of situation. You and this person had a lot of fun times together. Um, okay, yeah, travel long distance. You and this person could even have been in an open relationship right? So you and this person could have even been in an open relationship. You could have met them while you were traveling. But what I'm getting is like this person lives at a distance from you and they're trying to figure out a way to come back towards you. But I'm telling you, this person's coming back. <laughs> this is a soulmate connection, very strong connection. Um, and in your advice, this is what's coming out is that's talking about this person from the past. If there's a person you were in an open relationship with that lives at a distance from you. Maybe you've traveled with them or they would have to travel to come see you. This is somebody from your past. Um, this is who, what, who your advice is saying to go towards when you have this decision to make between two people. But um, definitely very strong message um, for this person from the past trying to come back around. Okay, so... Um, let me know if this resonates. If it does, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment. I love reading your guys' comments. Um, like, share, all that good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys soon.